Hi, I'm Scott Sassina, and we are on the road in Ithaca, New York, visiting Ports of New York, a winery that not only delivers gold medal winning wine, but also a history lesson as well. Ports of New York has been selling its wine since 2011, but has already proven itself as a winery that is a must visit, winning a gold medal at the 2014 New York World Wine and Spirits Competition. Being a fourth generation winemaker, owner Frederick Boucher is very passionate when it comes to his family's tradition. What keeps me going is definitely that it's a completely personal and unique uh, place because of all these objects and of course I think about my family, I think uh, about my product all the time. The wine is alive, uh, it changes all the time, you always have to taste it, measure it, uh, make sure everything is fine. After his family's winery went out of business in France, Frederick made sure to keep many of the original tools that had been used to make wine for generations. Although he is now using state-of-the-art machinery and systems to make his wine, it still requires a lot of time and care. Well, it's a lot more work than we think. Uh, it's always a little deceiving because uh, nothing moves really. The barrels don't move, the tanks don't move, the bottles are always at the same place, but the liquid is moving constantly. But when it comes to ports of New York, Frederick says he is happy because he is making the wine that he loves and is glad that so many others can enjoy his wine with him. It's your own, so basically you get to choose a product you, you want to make and uh, you make the product that you like. And in fact, what was very funny is that when my wife and I decided to really go ahead with it, we said, okay, what kind of wine are we going to make? And the ultimate decision was, let's make the wine that we really like, because if we go out of business, we'll have something to drink. <laughs> For more information on Ports of New York, you can visit our Facebook page or website at WBNG.com. In Ithaca, Scott Sassina, WBNG-TV, Action News.